Howdy guys, Mac Double Tap. Uh, so, what we're out here doing today, and I got another camera set up there at the Target. I hope that it's got enough battery power. I had actually went out and tried to, uh, to uh, catch the Aurora Borealis that was going to be visible to Northern PA. It didn't, didn't work. Uh, but anyway, so uh, what we're looking at here is our our inexpensive three gun build and the point of the whole video series is to prove that you can accurize an off the shelf run of the mill uh, AR-15 and make it usable in a three gun world. So, so far what we've done is we have uh, accurized the barrel, we pulled the barrel off we put a free float tube on it. I'll talk about that in a minute. We've lapped it. We've lapped the receiver and we've bedded the barrel with Loctite. So, you know, we're going to keep a running total on this. And the point is, can you take an inexpensive gun and put a little bit of work into it and save some money over going out and buying, a, you know, an $18 or a $1,900 gun and then still customizing it? So, uh, but. First things first, we've accurized. I have not done a trigger job yet. Uh, this is still the only trigger job I've done to this is the paracord trigger job, which if you haven't seen that, I'll link it in the bottom. But we've done that. I've got a 12-power uh, scope on here today. We're gonna, you know, I got target up there at 100 yards. I haven't shot this since this has all been done, so it may take me a little bit to put it on paper. But I wanted you to see it all. Uh, I did buy a free float tube, and because if you remember, this is that $300 uh, DPMS gun. I uh, it had a standard M4 setup. It had the front sight, sight post gas block. We uh, changed it out. I've got about $20 in a good low profile gas block. Uh, $35 in that lapping tool. We'll assume you don't have one. Uh, you know, $10 in the Loctite maybe, and uh, which I didn't use $10 worth, but anyway. Uh, I've changed the muzzle brake. You didn't have to, but I did. Uh, kind of, I mean, if you're wanting to customize, I put that, that uh, flash can on there. I think those are $15. Bucks. Uh, new grip, $20. Bucks. New stock, $35. Bucks. Uh, I went ahead and changed the dust cover. I went with the Strike Industries because I want them kind of going, if you haven't noticed, with the flat dark earth look. I think I paid $16, $17 bucks for that. I put an extended mag release on it. Uh, I'm still looking for a flat dark earth bad lever. I'm going to put an ambi safety on it. I'll probably change the castle nut. I'll probably change the charging handle. But as of right now, that's where I'm at. Uh, so without talking too much more let's put some rounds on paper I've got 20 and this is the same ammunition that I used when I first got my patterning if you remember my grouping if you remember this shot right at an inch and a half at uh, at a hundred yards now this target you guys are looking at if I can figure out how to split screen it I'm not the world's greatest video editor if you haven't noticed I'm getting there I'm learning uh, the inner circle is a half inch circle the whole way across the outer black circle is that's a one inch circle into black the next circle out is an inch and a half across so maybe I should be using one inch circle targets to start with but inner circle is a half an inch the whole way across outer circle is an inch the whole way across the next circle out you're looking at an inch and a half the whole way across that next circle so if I can put three inside the black now we're at minute of angle if I can get three in you know that inch and a half circle I may have not done anything one way or the other but that's where we're at so uh, this is pretty much the setup I ran before when I zeroed it and you know checked the grouping I don't have a lead slide here to work on, but uh, let's see if we can 
what we can do. Now our first shot is most likely it's truly a clean board shot. So I'm going to take the first shot at center target just to see where our initial impact is. Well, it is pretty close to where it was. That was clean board. Let's put three more in there. Two more, actually. Well, we got three on top of each other. Now, let's move it. One, two. Let's move it left and down. So my other camera shut off, I ain't even sure when, <clears throat> but when I was shooting at the uh, lower right target, them first two holes went on top of each other, that third one I threw up there, and then that is 15 rounds, uh, and a reasonably good clip. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's any ten of those anyway. You know, five of them in that half inch circle, another four in that one inch circle. From a hundred yards. As quick as I was shooting, you know, I really think that we have definitely got this gun shooting under sub, you know, under an inch. Uh, you know, that, I put two on top of each other, and I knew I pulled that third one. I even said I did. Uh, you know, I've got, that's the one I couldn't see. It broke and laid the paper back over. That's weird. But, uh. So, we definitely did, be we got the gun shooting better. I don't think there's any arguing that. The, uh, still have the trigger job left to do, but we are definitely shrinking the group, and all I've done is bed and lap that barrel. Uh, you know, there comes that point where whatever you're doing, the gun will outshoot the shooter. So, so far, I'm very pleased with uh, you know, very pleased with what we're doing as far as the uh, the accuracy appreciate you guys watching I'll show you guys how I do my trigger jobs next and then we'll come back and try her again